Lindsay here from Heart Speak Health. I'm just making a quick video to let you know that in addition to having my channel here, I also have a channel on Rumble, R-U-M-B-L-E dot com. A lot of people are familiar with that channel now, and I've decided to create a Heart Speak channel on there recently. I will probably be posting more there than here. Um, but I am going to try to keep both updated. I know it's been, I just looked at my last video that was posted here on YouTube and it was eight months ago. And since that time, I was working very hard in our family juice bar and my son had a very full summer of baseball. So I was taking my daughters to those games and tournaments and, uh, then things, of course, took a very unfortunate turn with school, and I have had to do some homeschooling and uh, with my younger children, and then my older son, he's been settled in in a different school, um, you know, so he just kept on that track. But uh, we have just been focused on our family, and we actually, we recently sold our juice bar in the city. We, uh, we just knew that we couldn't do that long term, and especially with how things are now, we would like to focus more on taking care of ourselves and our family and, and being more centered at home. The thoughts that I have shared with you on this channel, especially in that last video, which was in April of 2021, those thoughts will never change. That's how I feel, that's how I felt then, and that's how I feel now. We are what we live. We are essentially a collection of our experiences. And I respect and value the differences between all of us because we all come from different cultures and different backgrounds, and we've had different experiences. And I believe that everyone should have the freedom to choose what is best for them when it comes to their body and their mind and their spirit as well as those of their children, if you have children. If I didn't have the ability to follow my intuition and to follow the wisdom of others before me freely, if I could not follow their advice combined with what my intuition told me, I wouldn't be here. I would have never gone into coaching. I would have never opened a juice bar with my husband and did that for four years and got such a wealth of experience doing that that I can now take and apply to other areas of my life. It, none of that would have happened. Because I had the freedom and I had the luxury of choice in my care and in how I could take care of myself and heal, I've been able to do what I've done. And I believe that everyone should have that. Africa Brooke said in the spring of 2021 in one of her videos, which if you've never listened to her, I highly suggest listening to her because she is brilliant. But she said, the moment that we are not allowed to question something that is being forced upon us, that is the moment when we know that something is terribly wrong. And if that thought has not crossed your mind yet since the spring of 2020, please reach out to me because I'd like to help you understand what we're facing right now. As we approach a new year, I pray that all of you are spiritually armored, armed, whatever you want to say. I hope you have on your full spiritual, soulful armor. I hope that you are putting the health of yourself and your family first, along with your beliefs, your faith, and looking at each day as a chance to strengthen yourself and to improve yourself. Because I think in the coming times, we're going to need a lot of strength. 
So if I can be of any help in that way, please feel free to email me. My contact information is below in the description of this video. I also have a link to a very high quality immune supportive supplement if you are interested in taking something regularly this winter to help boost your immunity and keep you strong and healthy on a physical level. It also gives you peace of mind if you know that you're supporting yourself with something a little extra. So feel free to check that out in the description below. And uh, I'll be back with more content, but I just wanted to say hello, Happy New Year, and I just hope and pray for better things to come. And if we work together and understand the situation that we're in right now, then anything is possible. All right. Have a great first week of 2022. Thanks.